everybody some honey. I am out in Rialto, really far from my house. We took uh, my roommate Big D's 91 Chrysler Dynasty out here to um, visit a patient friend of mine. In any case, uh, he almost blew up the engine and had a total meltdown, a panic attack, and I felt like I was battling a three-year-old. So uh, I just took blame for all the unforeseenable things. Well, actually, it was foreseeable. I mean, he's a mechanic, and he's talking about m me not knowing about the radiator, and I'm the one that told him that he needed to put the stop leak in it or bar stop to plug up the holes until he can get the new radiator and uh, you know he's like hey well I'm heading out there anyways because I gotta pick up the radiator so we'll swing by your friends too well of course we get the radiator just fine and as soon as we're there it goes poo poo on us <laughs> so I don't know I know that with him it's not really his fault He's got, you know, mental issues as well as physical brain damage and was partially lobotomized. But, like, last night I flipped out on him. Like, I, I lost it. I was just like, dude, <laughs> you, know, you make no sense. You act like I'm your 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 caregiver, your your fucking butler or something. Dude. And this is like a remake thing. But uh, whatever, solved it. Hopefully, by being upfront, blunt, and painfully honest. So here we are, waiting for. Uh, Waiting for my father to pick us up while he fights traffic into L.A., which means that he's going to be real happy with me. <laughs> Yay, I'm 36 years old and I still feel like I'm 12. Anyway, having fun in Rialto with Big D. Say hi, Big D. Huh? Say oh. hi. Night-night. Yeah. Night. Night.